to a very special edition of Volcanoes TV. I'm Brandon Shin here live at PK Park, home of the 2014 Northwest League All-Star Game, which just wrapped up here right behind me on the campus of the University of Oregon just moments ago. And despite all of the premier talent in the Northwest League coming together on one field, the game ended in a 0-0 tie as it was the pitchers that shined the brightest. Despite the scoreless tie through 10 innings, and there was an innings limit set previously at the beginning of the game just in case a scenario like this were to happen, the Volcanoes still found a way to make their mark on the Midsummer's Classic. Let's start off with the pitchers where Jose Reyes, the starter for the Volcanoes who was selected to the All-Star Game this season, he came into the third inning and pitched a perfect 1-2-3 third inning in relief of Nicholas Baker as Jose Reyes was the first member of the South Division out of the bullpen and he did not disappoint. That handed it off in the fifth inning then to Yuri Sanchez who has slammed the door many times for the Volcanoes as the closer on the team this year. He came in in the fifth inning and again delivered a perfect fifth inning with a strikeout on the back end of that. So another excellent performance from him in relief. And you can see through Reyes and Yuri Sanchez, the two Salem Kaiser Volcanoes pitchers helped contribute mightily to the shutout here we had tonight. While the game did end in a 0-0 tie, Christian Arroyo and T. Relliford, the two representatives in the infield for the Salem Kaiser Volcanoes, well, they found a way to leave their mark defensively. Let's take you back to the very first at-bat of the game. Christian Arroyo playing shortstop. A line drive right at him. Off the bat of Roman Fields from the Vancouver Canadians. He moved to his left to grab that ball and set the tone defensively on this pitcher's duel here in Eugene. T. Relliford, well, he made perhaps the biggest defensive play of the night. Top half of the fourth inning. Runners on the corners for the North Division and just one out and a double steal attempt. The catcher threw it over to T. Relliford, who was covering second. He fired it back to the catcher in time to get Seth Spivey of the Spokane Indians, who is trying to steal home. It'll go down as a caught stealing, and T. Relliford, with that defensive play, saved a run, and with the 0-0 tie, arguably, perhaps saved the game for the South Divisional All-Stars. Relliford was also part of a crucial double play in the eighth inning, as the North Division, once again, threatening, had a runner on first, nobody out, and he was a part of an important 3-6-1 double play after moving over to shortstop that helped silence that rally and helped contribute to the 0-0 tie. A couple of other important notes from the game, only nine hits combined as the pitchers were really the highlight of tonight's game. Ten innings of work complete, nine combined hits from both teams aside. Very good work from the pitchers. From the South standpoint, South Division, Hillsborough was highly represented on the mound. Nicholas Baker got the start, he went two innings, and Zach Curtis on the back end of the game, he went the final two innings. Both of those pitchers gave up zero runs and helped start and finish the excellent shutout for the South Divisional All-Stars and the MVP of tonight's game, despite not a single run crossing the plate here at PK Park. Well, that went to Jose Trevino of the Spokane Indians. He went two for four, started the game, played all 10 innings, and had a pair of doubles on the night. That wraps up the 2014 All-Star Game here at PK Park. All-Stars were on the field, but mostly on the mound tonight as it was a pitcher's duel and the Volcanoes found a way to leave their mark on the mound and defensively. That'll do it for this edition of Volcanoes TV. Salem Kaiser Volcanoes begin their post All-Star break quest to the Northwest League playoffs and they open a three game series against the Boise Hawks on Thursday. It'll be August 7th through the 9th against the Boise Hawks South Divisional Rivals. It'll be at Volcano Stadium. You don't want to miss it. So get your tickets and get to the ballpark and we plan on seeing you there on Thursday.